So today I'm making a cocoa top by Tilly and the Buttons and the method for finishing the neckline on that top is just to turn under and then stitch the neckline. So I'm going to stitch the neckline with a twin needle. So there are different types of twin needle that you can get in different millimetre sizes. So this one actually came with my machine and it doesn't actually say the millimetre edge in between the two needles. I think this is a three millimetre needle, but you can buy other twin needles. So this other one that I have here is a four millimetre and that's just the distance between the two needles. So this one I would say is probably better for thicker fabrics, like if you're making a sweatshirt or something like that. Today, because my jersey is quite drapey and thin, I'm going to go with a narrower gap. So when we're going to do a twin needle finish, what you need is two spools of thread in the same colour. So I'm going to be using black today, so I've got two spools of the same colour of thread. And you'll also need a bobbin threaded up in the same colour of fabric, so a colour that's going to match whatever type of garment you're working on. You'll also need an extra thread spool, which will probably look something like this. This came with my sewing machine. So for my machine, to find the extra hole for the extra thread spool, I just need to lift up the top of the machine and there's an extra hole here. So I can just insert the extra thread spool into and it just sits there like that. And then it has the little stopper on the end as well. And then we just need to remove our normal needle and just insert your twin needle in the same way as you normally would. And then you need to use one of your spools of thread to thread your machine in the normal way. So just add it to your normal thread spool, little stopper on the end, and thread your machine as you normally would. And then when you come to the needle, you thread this piece of thread through the first of the twin needles. And then for your second thread spool, you just need to pop your thread onto the extra spool a stopper on the end, thread the machine in the same way so you're essentially going over the other thread that you've already used, down to the needle and then this time you thread this end through the second of the twin needles and then just pull that thread under the presser foot as you normally would and just make sure that both pieces of thread are nicely threaded through, there's no knots or tangles there or anything like that and then if necessary you just need to swap your bobbin to the correct colour. I always feel as though it's a good idea to do a little test run of stitches and just check the stitch length that you think looks best. So I generally tend to increase my stitch length slightly when I'm doing twin needling. So I'm going to try out a 2.8 stitch first of all and see how I think that's looking just on a piece of test scrap fabric. And that's how the twin needling looks from the front and then from the back even though it's a little bit wonky here you can see that it's sewing a zigzag stitch so that just allows the stitch to stretch with your stretch fabric. So what you're checking with your test stitches is just that there's no tunneling or any pulling because then you'll end up with a big bump in between your two lines of stitching. If you do find that you're getting that you might need to lower the tension of your machine so just play around with it on your test piece of fabric and just Make sure that you're happy with how the stitch is looking before you go ahead and sew your final garment. Something I tend to use when I'm sewing jersey garments is my walking foot. So this is optional. If you don't have one, it doesn't matter. But if you do have one, it can be a good idea to use it. This walking foot just helps both layers of fabric to feed through evenly when you're sewing with a twin needle. So I'm going to use mine now. It just helps the fabric to not stretch out while you're sewing. So once you're happy with your stitch length and your setup, you can go ahead and stitch your neckline. So what I would say is just be really careful that you're catching the underside of the neckline in your stitching line. The best way that I've found to do this is to actually line up your presser foot with something on your neckline. So for me here, I'm actually lining up the edge of my walking foot with the edge of the neckline. And I will try and keep that steady the whole way around the neckline. It should give me a nice even line of stitching.
There we have a nice even line of top stitching. Obviously I'm using a black and a cream fabric here. So some of my twin needling is visible and some of it is not. But you can see on the cream here that that's how my twin needling is looking. So once that's done, just pop over to the ironing board, give everything a good press and you're done. If it was helpful, 